To publish to Apple Books on your own, you're going to need to use two websites. First, we need to use Apple Books for Authors. I will have the link in the description. This is where we will upload the file and the image. Then we'll need to go to iTunes Connect where we'll put in the pricing information. This tutorial assumes that you already finished registering your account. If you haven't, check out the resources in the description. When you go to Apple Books for Authors, the first time it might take a few seconds to load your account information. I am submitting a new book, so I'm going to click on Submit a new book. Then click on Continue. First, we need to choose a book file. Apple Books accepts only EPUB. If you need any help with that, check the description. Click on it, then choose the file to upload. If you have a sample file, you can upload it here. Otherwise, you can leave it blank and Apple will choose the first few pages from your book. It might take a few minutes for Apple to run through the validation to make sure your EPUB is okay. Next, click on this one to upload your cover image. Once the boxes are green, click on Continue. Now we're going to add a title and description. All boxes with a star means it's required. Anything else without a star means it's optional. For the description, we need at least 50 characters. Once you have filled out all the required information, click Continue. Now we are going to set our category, language, and other info. To choose a category, click on it and then choose the one that's related to your book. Then click on Subcategory to choose the subcategory. Select the language and then continue. Now we're going to enter our publishing details. If you have an ISBN number, you can enter it here. For ebooks, it's not required and I don't have one, so I'm going to go ahead and skip this. Enter the original publication date if you have one, otherwise you can leave it blank. Then click Upload Book to iTunes Connect. And that is where we'll add a price to our book. Once you click the button, this window will pop up and it's going to take a few minutes for it to finish. Now we're going to go to iTunes Connect and finish the rest of the steps. You can click on Go to iTunes Connect. When you first go to this page, you probably won't see your book right away, so give it some time for the book to appear. Once it appears, we'll continue with the next step. Once the book is in iTunes Connect, click on the book, then click on Rights and Pricing. Click on Add New Countries and Regions. Fill in the release date, the base currency, release type, and if there's a physical list price, you can put that in there. Then the suggested Apple Books price. Next, we're going to click on Select All if you are going to publish your all countries. Then click on Continue. Scroll all the way down and then click on Confirm. And then scroll all the way down, click on Done. Now the review status says waiting for review. If we go back to our books, when it's not published to the store, you will see that it says not on with the red dot. Once they are published, you will notice that the dot will turn into a green one and it will say on 51 stores.